Folks, it's March 26th, 2024. Right now I find myself in Uncasville, Connecticut. And I'm going to take a little drive around Uncasville and Montville. I can't cover it all, but I'll do the best I can at covering some of the highlights. All right, so first things first. We're going to take a right onto, I just got off Norwich New London Turnpike. And that puts me on Fort Shantock Road. Fort Shantock is a beautiful area in Uncasville. If you live around here, or if you happen to be vacationing in the area, I would recommend taking a little day trip down there, taking a walk around. I'm heading in that direction right now. It's 46 degrees, very overcast day today, which I prefer for doing these uh, these driving films that I do. Very even light. As we cruise down the road here and approach Fort Shantock. All right, we're going to go under a bridge. Okay, what is this sign? No outlet, Fort Shantock Road Extension. That's interesting. No through traffic. Well, all right, what does this say? Mahegan Indian Reservation. Welcome, you are now entering a Mahegan Indian Reservation. So we're on a reservation right, right now. As soon as we cross over that bridge, and this is Massapog Road. I haven't been down here in quite a few years. Well, maybe a couple of years. There's a beautiful area down here if you like walking. Um, it's kind of a trail around a pond. And you can, you know, for exercise or whatever. Okay, wait a minute. Whoa, that kind of comes up on you quick. That turn. No dogs do not feel, feed wild animals is the sign that we see there. Okay, let's... First, I'm going to take a short cruise around this ancient burial ground. Okay, let me take a look. Let's go down here. That, that, some of this stuff is new. These buildings to my left and right, to me, look brand new. Yeah, that's new construction. Must be some kind of a visitor center or whatever. This a kid's playground to my right over there. Picnic area, I think, to my left. Restrooms. I mean, this is dramatic improvement since I've last uh, been down here. Picnic tables right on the river. You know, it's the Thames River off there in the distance. Picnic tables all over the place. So, yeah, this place has expanded quite a bit in the last, you know, couple of years anyways. So if you want to have a picnic and you're in this area, this would be a premium location. And again, there's the, uh, to my right is the ancient burial grounds. I, uh, I don't know how close I can get to it with this 
camera on the car, but let's let's try. Okay, yeah, I can get fairly close. Some handicap parking up here, which I'll just pop into for a second. I mean, there's some modern stones you can see right in front of us, but if you got out and took a walk around, there's, uh, there's a lot of, you know, when I say ancient, I don't, I don't know the years exactly. I mean, I, it's been a while since I've been walking around out in that cemetery, but it is, uh, it goes way, way back, 1600s probably. Um, I don't know, but it's very, very old. Okay, let's see here. There's a view of that pond. I'm going to get a better view. I'm trying to get the lay of the land here, but we're in, you know, we're on this, uh, this reservation right now, Fort Chantock. With all the new improvements. Okay, there's the trail. You can see that nice trail around that pond right there. Perfect place to come for a walk. No question. Jog. You know, whatever you want to do. There's a beautiful little stream. You can see it, hopefully, to our right. little bridge goes over it. Another small pond with a nice waterfall. I'm going to try to... I'm going to point this thing at that nice waterfall. Looks like it's coming down a staircase. That's no. There's a lot of improvements, uh, as I've mentioned, but really uh, kind of amazing. Now, if you park here, I parked here before, you can see the river straight ahead way down there. I mean, this is a wide angle, line, so that's way down there. Train tracks. Now, if you parked here and got out of the vehicle and walked down a path, it would bring you right to the river. You can go fishing down there, hiking, just looking around. It's uh, there's a big area down there. It's beautiful scenery. You're kind of under the under a big bridge. Um, okay, I want to point. Let's see if I can point in the direction of that waterfall. Get it, get you folks a look at this thing. Well, I might have to go down a little bit further. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to back in. I mean, when the trees and everything are grown over and all the, you know, the flowers and the, everything is in full bloom, this is really incredible down here. So there's your waterfall. See that bridge above it, that little footbridge? If you go on a walk, I'll get as close as I can. I can't, this is it, as far as, again, that wide angle lens. But, you know, we gotta look at it. We gotta look at that. There's hiking trails and a lot of really cool areas to explore around here. So that's uh, that's the heart of Fort Chantock right there. It's a very it's kind of a well contained, not a huge area, but it's just you know it's easy easy to navigate. Okay, let's see here. It's easy to navigate. I'm not really 100% sure where this, some of these roads take me here, but again, we're going to try to take a little look around Uncasville and Montville today for a little while anyways. Back on Massapog Side Road. This is according to my GPS. I guess I'll just follow this road until I see something familiar and we'll go from there.
I seem to be veering a little bit more towards the Thames River. There's a lot of property to my left that's undeveloped. And for that matter, to my right. Another kind of a hilly area we're in right now. sign up here indicates uh, people riding horses uh, crossing the road. Maybe there's some kind of a stable or something up here. I'm not aware of that, but again, this is not a, a part of uh, Uncasville that I'm really familiar with. Okay, to the left is obviously a horse stable, if that's the correct term, barn, ho horse I could enter back there, but I, I'm a little, you know, I got a camera on my car, so I, it's, it could be private property. It looks a little unusual for a person to be driving around with a camera on your property, so we're not going to do that. We got a deer crossing sign. You know, I got to keep my eyes open for a potential uh, deer that walks, runs across the road. So we're way out there in the in the country, but we're close to everything. We're close to shopping, we're close to all kind of businesses and pretty much everything you can think of in Montville and Uncasville. As I continue to roll down Massapog Side Road. What is this? I can take a left railroad crossing. Massapog Point. Let's, let's do it. I don't know. Dead end. No access to Thames River. Um, not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. Doesn't look promising. So I'm gonna back up if there's no traffic behind me, and there isn't. All right, what's the name of this road? Let's wait for the GPS to kick in. Derry Hill Road. There's a little waterfall to my left, very tiny waterfall, it's about four feet high, but pretty nice, multiple little tiny waterfalls to my right back there, on a very little stream, but we had a big rainstorm, I don't know, three, four days ago, so, actually Saturday, so a couple of days ago. All right, what is, where am I going? I, I gotta, <laughs> okay, Derry, I'm gonna keep going down Derry Hill Road. There's side roads here. Where they lead, I don't know. Where, to be honest with you, frankly, I don't know where Derry Hill Road leads, but I got a feeling, I mean, I'm going west. I have a feeling it's gonna get me out of this kind of rural area and pump me out into one of the main roads in Uncasville um, or Montville. Very nice, quiet area. A lot of nice homes on Derry Hill Road. Okay, what does that say? Derry Hill... Okay, now I'm on a 
different road. Let me, I'm trying to... Plat, uh, Platas, P-L-A-T-O-Z Drive. Platas Drive. Does not ring a bell. Huge hill. Straight down. Okay, wait a minute. Looks like some, uh, some action down here in the, what is this, Platas? Wow, I'm at the corner of, this is unusual, it says Platas Drive, but am I getting on to, okay, wait a minute. All right, I know where I am. I believe it's New London Turnpike in front of me. I'm gonna wait a second, we can look at that older abandoned home with a greenhouse directly in front of us, but I'm gonna, Try to slip out of here. Okay. Now we're cooking. Norwich and London Turnpike. Uncasville Oil Company to the left of me. All right, let's cover some territory here. There's a little mall. You know, it's not a mall, but it's an outdoor area. Plaza. That's the technical term. It's a little plaza. Center plaza. Right here. I'll do a very quick sweep. Breakfast. Diana's breakfast. Tanning uh, salon. What do they have? H&R Block. They got a bunch of pet parlor. Let's just get this on video for, you know guys looking at this film or video it's not film but they got people looking at this video you know 300 years from now this is what it was like it's let's see 1100 center plaza that's where i am right now there's a little restaurant country deli across the to my left herbs herbs country deli it's supposed to be real good uh, this is standard door company, garage doors, electric doors, electric operators. Wow, there's something going on down where the Norwich and London Drive-In used to be down here. As a matter of fact, if you look off into the distance, I don't know if you can, I hope you can see it. But there's that, you know, what used to be a movie screen, outdoor movie screen. But there's some big construction project or something going on down there. Herb's Country. Okay, he's also got a country gift store or something back there. Gift shop. You know, part of me wants to pull into this thing. There's mud. There's all kind of problems around here. But I don't want to get, you know, trapped. But let's get a view of this before it gets completely redone. There's that screen, way off in the distance. I hope you can see it. We used to come down here and watch movies. You know, drive-in movie theater. That's, they're rare these days. I think there might be still one in Mansfield, Connecticut. But there's definitely one um, here that is being demolished that is no longer operational. It hasn't been for probably decades. Um, but it's, the screen is still up. There's another mall right in front of us there. Let me, I'll, I'll, I don't know if I can, how am I going to swing this thing here? Here's a little plaza, Longo's Plaza. I can't name all the stores. I don't have time. I, it's not that I don't have time. It's just people behind me. I, you know, I got a Turnpike Cafe, this and that. Can be lucky co convenience store, three-star lucky convenience store, Tibbs Barbershop, Smoke Shop, a whole bunch of stuff. Um... Rather than me drive into those plazas down there, I'm just going to do it. You can see them, hopefully, on camera right now uh, on this video. As I wait, I'll, let's see. Jabez Financial is in there. Signature Properties. Um, Chen's Chinese Restaurant. Nino's Pizzeria. That is called Gristmill Plaza, by the way. So we got some of that in. It's a garage to my right. I don't see a name on it.
There is a prison to my right. I'm not going to drive down there. But you can take my word for it. It's, it's there. A correctional facility. Car washes, True Value hardware, all kind of stores all over the place here. Left, right, builders, tile and carpet. Um, Dollar General Oriental Bar and Grill, Uncasville Diner, on and on and on. DFS, Doherty Financial Services. There's tons, of Horton Cove, some kind of a residential place that I don't know. It's back there to my left. Um, you know, when you drive, you, I, I try to name businesses and everything, but it's it's a breakneck speed when you have such a high volume. Dory's Skin and Lash Spa with a big arrow pointing right. There's another... Okay, let's see the name of this. Plaza or... You know... Grouping of businesses down here. I'll take a swing in here if I can get in here how, how in God's name do you <laughs> this is tricky dime bank okay I'm actually at dime bank I didn't see a main entrance for that uh, that plaza back there am I going the wrong way the right way I don't know uh, mobile gas station across the street I'm gonna drive into that plaza or you know, compound of stores, if I can find out how to get in there. All right, I guess I take this right down here. What's in here? Walgreens, Charter Oak Credit Union. There's a liquor store, a laundromat, cigar lounge, American Job Center. That's all I could grab visually. Let's get a look at this. Uh, let's get a look at these buildings here. So what do I do? I think I'm going to go way back at the end of the parking lot here and then point this thing in a direction across the street there, by the way. Balanced Wellness Primary Care, Fit Academy, DeLeo and Lou Family dentistry. So this kind of, you know, there's a nice, what appears to be Victorian home across the street there. It's kind of all by itself in the middle of all these new businesses. But yeah, this is one of your conventional, typical American, you know, bunch of stores that, you know, you find, find in any town, you say Horsepower Cigar Lounge. Good name. Love it. Horsepower. Sounds tough. Labella Wine and Spirits, American Job Center. Again, a bunch of stores, businesses, whatever you want to call them. They're down here. There's people walking around. There's construction companies working on things. A lot of activity down here. Uncasville oil truck in front of us. Okay, well, we got that in the books. We have that documented. Let's drive up the road a little bit. And we can look at this truck. Uncasville Oil, Fuel Oils, Oil Burner Service, Professional Maintenance and Installation of Boilers, Furnaces, and Fuel Tanks. From my understanding, Uncasville Oil, at least the word on the street, is they are very reliable, very good business. I think they've been in business for many years and they're they have a fantastic reputation, let's put it that way. I'll cut to the chase. If you live around here, they come highly recommended by a lot of people.
I'm on New London Turnpike again. I'm gonna turn around. Let me get down this little street right here. This is, I don't know, Crescent Street maybe? I'm trying to read these signs. I have to drive carefully and read signs. Yeah, I'm on Crescent Street. Many years ago, I used to come to a doctor down here. Forget the gentleman's name. He's, he's probably deceased by now, because, I mean, I was maybe, a, you know, a 18 years old, and he was an elderly man at the time, so yeah, he couldn't possibly be alive. But I want to take a... something caught my eye back here. That I want to take a little cruise. So we're getting off Crescent, back onto New London Turnpike. There is a Teamsters Local 493 building back there, that brick building, to my right. But anyways, let me see if I can... Okay, there it is. There's a street here. I don't know what the story is, but it is heading towards the Thames River. It is called Pink Row. That's the name of this... All right, there's the American Legion. They got torpedoes out there in front of it. Okay, this is uh, this is Pink Row Road. Okay, so now this, this there's a big sign: Town of Montville Water Pollution Control Authority. I'm not gonna get down there because I gotta again. When you have a camera mounted on the exterior of your car um, people that work security and you know police services and things of this nature it kind of sticks out like a sore thumb so they notice it okay I'm coming to a what seems to be some kind of a big factory or something down here there's a, there's a very large I don't know if they're working on this place Box of box of lofts. Wow, they're converting this into some kind of apartments. This used to be like, uh, hmm. I think they made tachometers or something down here for cars. It was a, I don't know if it was an assembly line or, you know, piecework or whatever. It looks like, if I'm not mistaken, I think I'm going to try to turn around get another look at that but it kind of seemed to me like they were converting that into apartments or condos or whatever um, boy this is a tricky spot to get out of right here it better be a four-way stop or I'm in trouble so I want to turn around just to I have no idea where I'm going I'm, I'm on some, something called Depot Road but I, I'm gonna turn around because I this is I mean, I could end up in, you know, nowhere. Let me go straight. Just uh, for a little bit, only because this Thames River, I believe, if I'm, if my bearings are right here, is in front of us. So maybe, it, is it possible we could get a good view of the Thames River from up here? I don't know. There's a big cemetery. There it is, right there in front of me. There's a big, giant cemetery. Salt yard only entrance. I, there's a salt yard down here? All right, this is this is gateway. Whoa, I gotta get out of here. Anyways, we get a pretty good view of the Thames River. Wow. Okay. Glad I came down here. Exit only gateway. Martin Horton Horton Point Terminal. I don't. I have no idea. I mean, this is interesting. But I'm gonna turn around. This garbage can. So people must come down here and go f to go fishing, I would imagine. It's kind of a cool, you know, salt yard. Whatever, you know, whatever that is. I'm, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I'm tempted to go into this... Uh, 
It says exit only. I can't do it. There's people down here. Again, security concerns, me getting pulled over and questioned. Yeah, there's a big tarp over, probably, a big bunch of salt. Yeah, that's part of it's ripped open. It's salt, probably for salting roads. I have no idea what they use it for. Let's take a... No, well, we can. The fence is closed. I was going to take a left, but... Um, let's, you know, let's do a little exploring. We're on Depot Road. Let's go on Peter Avenue for a second. All right, there's big giant smokestacks. What are they there for? That's some kind of a power generating plant, whether it's functional or... Folks, my camera shut down on me, which is highly unusual. It's done it before. It's rare. It's really not that cold. It's not wet out. It should run so I don't know that's a problem anyways I'm gonna give you another hopefully I here's a view of that I hope we got it earlier that giant power plant in Montville Connecticut with big ferries down there located in Block Island ferries um, Let's get a look at that river again. In case I didn't pick it up on that last go round, I hope I didn't lose too many, uh, too much video, because I got some really nice scenes in there. I think, I mean, I, that's the way it appeared to me until that thing decided to shut down on me. That's not good when that happens. So I don't know how much video I lost. But we're going to proceed on this journey, driving around Uncasville, and now I'm in Montville. Train track, look both ways, make sure I, I don't want to get bashed in by a train right now. That would not be uh, good. It's one thing to have your battery die. Well, you know, the battery didn't die in the camera. I have a battery that'll last for probably 48 hours. It's a giant battery. Um, but sometimes the card that the video was recorded to will just shut down. I don't think that's the case. I've had a few of these random shutdowns recently, and it's... Uh, That's, that's a problem that's got to be addressed. And I'll do some testing later to figure it out. Let's see. Lathrop Road. Hmm. Not 100% sure which way to go. I think I'm going to go right. Trace my way back. Oh yeah, there's Depot Road. All right. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get out of this way just so I can get a look at that. Okay, F Faria, F-A-R-I-A, -A, Faria. They used to make tachometers or, or things for cars that, I don't know, but now it's being converted into what looks like apartments, condos, whatever. There it is right in front of us. This is important stuff because they're in the middle of you know, this conversion or construction period. That has got to be really nice. That's the latest trend, taking big giant factories and turning them into, you know, livable space. Environmental cleanup process. Okay, there's all kind of signs back there. Let me see if I can read this sign real quick. So can, uh, Oxaboxa lofts, whatever. That's lofts. So that's going to be apartments. Were there actually apartments, condos? That I don't know. All right, let's cruise down the road. Down Pink Row Road. That's where we are right now. All 
I'm hoping I didn't lose too much footage with that malfunction. I'll find out later on when I throw this thing in the uh, editing machine. McDonald's to my right. The Shamrock Shake is back. Big sign out there. And we're on North London Turnpike again. I covered a decent amount of territory already. We saw some really cool things on this uh, journey so far. So let's do some freewheeling down here. I'm going to take a right. Dots Cafe in front of me. No turn on red. All right, so we can... Take a look at that building to the right, Lombardi's, Lombardo's Barber Shop. Military and Senior Discounts, Lady Luck, Body Piercing, um, Dots Cafe, I don't see, I can't, there's another sign up there, I really can't read it, it's on kind of an angle, but I'm going to take a right here. And take a cruise down the road and see what we got. This is Route 163. There's a stream to my right. There's a sign that says Montville, two miles. I thought I was in Montville. Well, I am in Montville. That's interesting. I'm on route, okay, route definitely confirmed by the GPS, Route 163. By the way, a freshly paved road, that seems to be the trend lately. Beautiful new roads everywhere. This, <coughs> excuse me, is a fire department. What is it called? Montville Fire Department. Collision Specialist, BD Auto Body, okay, to my left and right drive down the road here on Route 163 a little bit. And see what we got. I'm going under a big bridge. What's above me on the on top of that bridge? Interstate 395. Wow, big factory back there. Kind of like to drive down there. There's signs <laughs> pointing to Montville, but I'm in Montville, so that's kind of confusing to me, but that's okay. Now I'm on Oakdale Road. This, this 163 kind of morphed into Oakdale Road. So maybe I'm, am I in Oakdale? It said Mondo. I, whatever. I'm somewhere. I'm pretty sure I'm in Montville. Corvell's Heavy Duty Truck Parts. All right. They work on heavy duty trucks and stuff back there to my left. What is this? There's some kind of a little restaurant back there. I couldn't read it. Yeah, these guys on the left, all-time windows, doors, fence railing manufacturing. Been there for many years. They do really nice work. Custom windows. Amber's hair design to my right. It's a laundromat. This it's too too much to mention really down here. Because another manufacturing facility of some kind, or I don't know what it is, but it's a large... Let's take a ride up and see. Maybe there's a sign to my left. Alright, there it is. What is it called? Rand Whitney Container Board. Alright, so they make, you know, cardboard boxes or containers or something.
Wow, a very cool, <coughs> kind of an ancient, uh, old-fashioned water tower there directly in front of us. That's nice. Definitely an industrial area. I mean, some of it is... Okay, Yale... Oh, yeah, Yale. This is kind of a, a... I don't know if it's a junkyard or whatever back there. But there's a lot of abandoned buildings down here. Uh, homes that... You know, they're just... There's nobody living there, and they're kind of... The roofs and everything are falling in. Windows are boarded up. All right, I'm going over a... Oh, that's Wheeler's Pond. I haven't been by there in years. I used to go fishing in Wheeler's Pond all the time. I've, okay, this is... Now I know... <laughs> now I'm... Things are starting to get a little clearer in my mind about where I am. Boy, I'll tell you, there's some fish in Wheeler's Pond. Oh, there used to be. I mean, I'm going back 30 plus years, but that place never failed to produce, you know, largemouth bass and calico bass. Some really nice fish in that, uh, that Wheeler's Pond. I continue down Oakdale Road. We're heading out into the wilderness again, uh, according to my my line of sight in front of me. Wait a minute. School bus, that's a sign of life down here. Let's cross Fox Brook. Where in the world am I? There's some kind of Fitchville to my left. Morabella's New York style pizza. It's open. I'm gonna go, hmm, I'm gonna go straight. Fitchville. It's a big sign. Hmm. Very confusing. That's all right. Mobile home park to my right. Meeting House Lane. That's where I am right now. Meeting House Lane. What does that mean for me? <laughs> it means I don't know where I am. That's what it means. But let's keep rocking. This is going to come out somewhere. And it's going to look familiar to me. Then I'll be able to wind my way back to... Montville, Uncasville. I would assume I'm in Montville still. These GPSs, there should be a thing at the top that tells you the town you're in. But there isn't. This is, I mean, this is way out there. What is this? Camp Oakdale to my left back there. All right, so... Apparently we're in Oakdale, Camp Oakdale. To my left has to be a library because there's a sign. Wow, really nice church. Part of me feels like driving up the... Hmm, I wish I could point this thing in the direction of that church. It looks like a beautiful library up the road here. Okay, let me zip into this church. Yeah, this lens is not going to do it justice. But anyways, there's that library off there. There's that old, really cool church. Maybe you could, you know, grab a little of, 
a little look at it with that camera. But I'm right on top of the thing. Looks like some historic buildings around here. That library is really nice. Let me see if I can catch the name of it. Raymond Library. Beautiful building. Built in 1884. All right, I can pull into it. Uh, I was hoping to get that. I'm not going to be able to get the best view of it. It's more of a modernized uh, section here. Although we could, yeah, it's nice. But I, I the older section in the front is really beautiful. And there's the back of that church. Actually, let's point over there to get a look at that church real quick. Right there, way in the background, is that church. All right. We got to get out of here. It seems like if I went right, that would be the the move to make here. I don't know. Definitely not certain of that. But I'm going to try it. There's a really old house to my right. Little gazebo out there. Definitely needs work. The, it probably used to be a farm. There's a barn. There's outbuildings back there. Super old. 1800s. Yeah, there's a cornfield to my right over there. I'm on Raymond Hill Road right now. Let's see where we end up. It's more, more of a modern uh, development right around this area. A lot of side streets. I mean, if I ever wanted to do a comprehensive Montville, that would be a multi day task, uh, and I'm, I'm really not that familiar with uh, Montville. Just the main, you know, main strip, New London Turnpike, things like that, but let's see where we end up. Wait a minute, Fitch Hill Road, we got a I had a, sorry about that. I had to make an abrupt left, but Fitch Hill Road. I'm kind of whoa. This guy's splashing water. Hope I, hope I don't get water on my lens. That could be a problem. But Fitch Hill Road. So this is this is going to be a lot of farm. Like, yeah, there's horses, all kind of stuff. To my left, bunch of horses. Boy, I wish I could pick it up with this camera. I can't. Because this road is very narrow. Silverbrook Stables. There's a nice barn there. Beautiful area. Fitch Hill Road. I'm, you know, this is heading in the direction that I, that's going to, you know, put me out onto a, A series of roads that I that I know well. How long that's going to take, I'm not sure, but we'll just take our time and cruise here. And at some point, uh, we'll come to a conclusion, and then I'll be able to check out how much footage I lost with that uh, camera malfunction. And I'll see if I can throw something together. If you're watching this right now, I did throw something together. If you're not watching it, well, you would never know anything about it, so it's all been deleted. Road narrows.
Stony Brook Farm back there. Beef Hay Piglets. There's a sign out there. All right. All right. Now we're now we're starting to head in the direction of. Areas, streets, roads that I'm familiar with and I can navigate around with confidence. Let's put it that way. We're getting there. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. Fitch Hill Road, that's the key. That That's, uh, okay, what is... McNaught Acres. There must be some kind of a housing development or something up there. McNaught Acres. Going over a bridge, which I'm going to assume brings me over, yep, brings me right over the top of 395. I am descending down a very large hill right now. This is absolutely mind-blowing. Where this, where this thing is going? Look at this. Okay, Mahegan Sun directly in front of me. Whoa, that is wild. Now I know exactly where I am, but for a good portion of that drive back there, I, I wasn't really sure even what town I was in. Straight ahead. The Mahegan Sun Casino. This is going to bring me right back into Norwich. Like, real quick. There it is. All right, well. I'm going to take a left. Thank you. That woman back there in that Honda let me go, and I'm thankful for that. I'm on New London Turnpike in Norwich, Connecticut right now. I mean, I'll gather up some more footage. Um, my intention was cover parts of Uncasville and Montville and we did that assuming I didn't lose too much footage again they're building a new house to my right that's cool they destroy they bashed in completely demolished a existing older home back there and uh, golf course by the way Norwich golf course to my left and right going right down the heart of it uh, that house was raised to the ground And now they're building a brand new structure there. We're going by Malerba's farm. That would be on our right. If you live in Norwich, you know it well. Legendary for their fruits, vegetables, flowers, plants, everything. If you need any of that stuff I just mentioned, and you live in Norwich or anywhere near Norwich, those are your guys back there. That's premium stuff that they sell. Real nice family. We're going by Three Rivers College to my right. 
Hmm, school bus. Gonna let some kids out. All right, we got a little, uh, a short break here. Three Rivers Community College. There it is. As I drive down New London Turnpike. Well, my camera is still operating. I think it shut down back there somewhere around the Thames River when we were viewing that. I don't know, power plant in Montville back there. Yeah, this will be good. I'm front, front row center here with all these cars going by. I always kind of like these scenes right here. Got a wide variety of cars. So if I'm second one back, I got the car blocking me. But right now, these guys are right in front of me. Tesla, all kind of cars back and forth. This is a very busy intersection. Salem Turnpike goes into West Main Street and uh, crosses with New London Turnpike. East Great, Fla uh, East Great Plains Fire Department, that red building to my right, Volunteer Fire Company. They've, they've been there my whole life. I mean, all right, green light, but his car is still coming both ways. You got to really really take your time around here. I consider this New London Turnpike stuff right now bonus footage. I had not planned on including anything uh, from Norwich. But why not? The camera's rolling. I'm driving. Let's do this. Who knows what I'll capture on video. I got an idea. I'm going to take a little, little drive past the Sachem Street Bridge construction project. Now that road could be closed, but you know, whatever. We'll, we'll make an attempt at it. Norwich Assembly of God. Sure, it's just gentlemen there. I have the right of way. They cut in front of me. That's bad form, but it happens. You're better off driving cautiously, carefully. Wow, buses, schools out. Carefully, cautiously. And all the buses are coming this way. That tells me that... that Asylum Street could be completely blocked off, but hey, we're heading in that direction. Let's see what happens. Look at this guy cutting right in front of me. Hmm. All right. We are approaching the Sachem Street Bridge construction area. I may or may not be able to get a good view of it because a lot of times they shut down my ability to turn left on that road. So we'll find out in a second here. Sherman Street. Let's see here. Okay, we're getting on to Asylum Street. We're getting off Star Street. We're going on to Asylum. And yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to go down. I don't know what we can see because there's barriers and all kind of stuff down here. But Let me slow down. I don't see anybody working out there at the moment. But I'm going to cruise real slow. 
This bridge is going to be completed this year, this spring. It's spring right now, so, I mean, things are, I would assume, going to be ramping up significantly real soon on this bridge. I don't know the schedule or, you know, the actual completion date estimate or anything like that, but it's soon. I'm literally driving 10 miles an hour. I mean, this road is incredibly bumpy, massive potholes because of this construction project, obviously. And I don't want to destroy my car. But whatever. Whether we got a good look at it or not, I don't know. If I had a big truck or a giant SUV, the camera would be uh, in a much high, you know, a more elevated position. Pro probably we could see better, but we don't have that right now. Well, I think we're in a position now where we can shut down the operation, declare mission accomplished, and um, end this video. Covered a lot of territory. We're going to take a look and see what happened with the with the camera malfunction. Let's see what footage I can salvage out of this thing, but I'm hoping this thing turns out okay. It was a good ride. I, I enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. I, I want to film this bus coming by. That's good end this thing off with a bang. I'm going to wait for this light to turn green. There it is, on cue. As we follow this vehicle in front of us, we're going to turn down Otrabando Avenue. And then I'm going to sign off. However, there seems to be an incredibly long line of cars, which, eh, let's, let's grab it on video. Coming at me here. If I'm lucky enough to slip in at some point, then we're going to call it, officially call it quits. All right, let's see this guy right here. Okay, we did it. Thanks for joining me, folks.